party people we are back with dst shows unbelievable premiere content before we even start off with my ongoing complaint well it's gonna be a technical rant it's gonna be my neg my huge complaint over an AEW group not a wrestler a group first R.I.P. Steel to John Hubbard slash Brody Lee slash uh, Harper, Ron Harper, <clears throat> of course, uh, great wrestler, I think I updated you about the recent passing, still affects uh, many of us fans today, and especially family and friends, hope they're doing well, even stars up in AEW, but, uh, yeah, 30 subs, unbelievable breakthrough, been waiting something like this for mo for months, Enjoy the ongoing support over most of the YouTubers, fans that still sometimes watch my stuff. Try to give me shout outs. I appreciate most of the support and hopefully I don't disappoint even myself. Really willing to grow the channel out and it's seemed to be going really well over uh, with, you know, me trying to focus on Nick Ronomicon, most of the SmackDown and Ryan AW reviews. So I want to make sure I do that while talking shit about most of the other wrestlers. And most of what I have is AEW, and don't get me wrong. Sometimes AEW matches can be dynamic, they can be really entertainingly fast-paced, they can be a bit more mature, or potentially fine. I like some of the stars they have. I like Lance Archer, Brian Cage, Darby Allin, Ray Phoenix, Penta Zero Miro, John Moxley can sometimes be taken legitimately and at least he treats himself like he wants to be a badass as much as how he was in WWE I I don't mind FTR that much Eddie Kingston is a primordial great veteran talent to have to get the other guys over Butcher and Blade kinda suck in my opinion but here is the thing that denounces AEW's growth as a legitimate second best company, or at least an alternative company, for WWE fans that are a kind of overgrown of the product, or either trying to get tired of it, and it's the indie jobber, non-creative schlock that completely just degrades pro wrestling. It degrades AEW's taking legitimately of a uh, of a show to actually make your character seem like ass kicking pro wrestlers that can do this week in and week out. And if you want to do a Jurassic gimmick, fine. Marco Stunt isn't given any Jurassic character though. Yet they're called the Jurassic Express. It's a rant over the Jurassic Express. I'm gonna go over this by member just for you people to understand. It's it's just not working, and these guys had primarily over most of the year getting matches over the freaking tee. Most of their six-man tag matches, either Jungle Boy, out of Luchasaurus getting overly pushed over tees for for singles matches over guys like Chris Jericho, feuds with MJF, rivalries with MJF teething over any other top heel group or tag team in the show. And they're leeched over what? Because they made it good with the Young Bucks? I don't understand the positives over any of these guys, other than probably the better talker is literally a guy who makes himself a freaking dinosaur. Wrestler. Luchador. It's inconsistent. I, and many of the people find that, okay, just give him a cooler lizard gimmick, let him stop with the luchador moves, make him do more big man crap while doing a bit more athletic, a, a tiny bit of athleticism, and maybe luchasaurus could be taken a bit more seriously. And that's a perfectly fine assessment if this guy is really willing to <clears throat> change up his moveset, have a different look, talk a bit more. Because the guy seems like an intelligent dude with a lot of potential. Seems to be keeping up with some of the... He moves like a freaking 
Man with gigantism with a broken leg. Come on. And he keeps trying to, like, undermine that big man moves look cool. I, I don't look cool or they're not fun. I understand many people dream of doing 450 splashes, spiral taps, topes will see this. Hell, I wanted to do a 5-star frog splash when I was a kid. I literally can't do that. And while my ongoing depression of me and not having much of a physical feat over many other professional wrestlers, I can at least understand that my body can be used for something else. Doing video. I mean, of course, big man moves. I'm... I can do choke slams. I can do big boots. I can do leg drops. I can... Thanks, I'm a bit taller. I can have a leg up over many shorter opponents and try to cover more ground. There's different stuff you could do in over a lizard gimmick that can be primarily more intimidating. Lugasaurus doesn't understand this factor. Jungle Boy is freaking midget Griff Garrison. He looks like the 15-year-old version of Joey Jelena. Most of these guys barely have any charisma to be dealt with, and yet they have the majority of matches, majority of six-man tag matches over the card, premier multi-man tag matches over most of Dynamite, and... And given our match, they even had a freaking not like non important match for a ranking over the Young Bucks at All Out for no freaking reason. And don't forget that like multi man tag that involved like Marco Stunt. I'm sorry, Marco Stunt doing a a Canadian Destroyer on I think the blade in the middle of the ring, and I think a Fighter Fest or. Fight for the Fallen special on Dynamite, because I think those used to be pay-per-views until they forgot they were dumb names. And, oh, gosh. Like, I don't know what's the appeal over, like, Marco Stunt has what it looks to be a generic, decent baby face look. And, it's fine. Just why is he called Jungle Boy if he doesn't behave that primitively? The only person who behaves more wild, more primitive, or without much control and less assistant is Marco stunt because he has a short complex and to keep it short I mean keep it brief Marco stunt sucks Marco stunt is undersized the guy looks like a freaking infant and he's probably older than freaking jungle boy no semblance of a fit of a charisma the guy has like no semblance of getting himself over other than you know carried off from doing some dumb crap like assisting using a Hurricane Rana or just doing a Canadian Destroyer or very minimalist moves like I saw him in like a six-man tag involving I think Sunny Kiss or some and Joey Jelena in another tag against some of the heels in the company and he comes around hitting guys up the gut like that's gonna hurt like push him away treat him like Hornswoggle and I'm not trying to bury over these guys, because I do want many of these AEW stars to succeed. But some that I think that Cody just thinks that all because he can laugh at these guys in the indies doesn't mean that they're good enough to keep it a business that he probably wants to keep for over a decade and then some. These guys are not going to get you over. They are not the Road Warriors. They are not any, like... They are not Animal and Hawk. They are a Jungle Boy, two weirdo midgets, but one wears a freaking thought. I mean, it's just we we uh, one tunic. It, it's just not interesting, especially when they don't when they do the inconsistencies over with their character of the trying to be wild Jurassic characters, but they don't really lift that up because they don't do stuff except their entrance is that they have a Jurassic Park like entrance. And then that's it. I have more belief of that WWE ECW zombie. Because at least I knew he was freaking playing a zombie. Ridiculous. You can see why AEW sometimes gets the negative flack it has. Even your biggest fanboy out of Pramil Pr uh, I think it's Pramilia Productions. Freaking hates AEW's guts. Over the inconsist inconsistencies and critiques, and they can't even take their own critiques, even if it's positive. Jurassic Express sucks. 
they weaken the legitimacy even if they're trying to expand the the strength of their tag division it makes these pro wrestlers feel cons inconsistent even to keep a character like a jurassic character only one of these guys can be taken legitimately like Freaking Jungle Boy just looks like if he his hair was lighter, he could have just been part of that jobber squad with the varsity blondes with Brian Pillman and Griff Garrison. It, it's really trash. Like t their hot tags are just sluggishly over overzealously bad with just big boot big boot Hurricane Rana off Luchasaurus and they barely use him for the finish. They don't! It was an assisted powerbomb by the help of Luchasaurus for Jungle Boy to get the finish. They're making Jungle Boy look more legitimate and trying to be more of a threat than a seven foot monster that can do luchador moves. And don't you think that'll be more intimidating? It's just ridiculous. And I don't know why Cody even keeps these guys over the roster. Some of them barely even get over screen time. And now they seem to be more legitimate than the former tag team champions out of FTR. It's, it's just dumb. But uh, tell me how you feel in the comment section. Do you think that the Lucha, that the freaking Jurassic Express have a bit of positives in them? I think that they absolutely suck. I don't think they're going to be taken up. E I think they're going to be taken back over in legitimate indie level because they're just a joke indie squad. With no semblance of legitimacy, an average character, charisma, or at least that much over a fan connection. At least Orange Cassidy gets himself over off a laid-back BS comeback kid little... At least Orange Cassidy has a reception, he has a fan base. I swear to God, no one cares about the Jurassic Express if they get released. But that's all I have over this episode, this rant. If you guys feel like I'm going too hard on these dudes and I should give them growth, it's been at least over a freaking year and a half since we've had Dynamite airing. These guys show no semblance of growth, can't push over a story, most of their matches are primarily repetitive. They can't push over most of their gimmick or character, they have a lack of charisma, and if that's not pushing them over, then I don't see why... It they get rid of Jimmy Havoc, even though he has at least a distinguishable look. I know already why he got released. You don't get the point. Over, and over taking the Jurassic Express. That seemed like the only upside of these guys are that they're good athletes. And that shouldn't be the case whenever you pick up a wrestler. At least with CM Punk. Yes, he was a good guy over in the ring. But the guy can sell. He could primarily tell a story. He's one of at least a relatable kickback talker that you can have for over any promotion, and he can be taken as a threat. And he's a and he can be pretty compelling. So I can take Punk seriously, even though he doesn't look like the type of guy that could be a main eventer. He can be the guy over in the top of the card that can steal a match of the ma match of the night. So I can at least rely over what CM Punk, and he has over most of that package except looking like a guy that can always headline my pay-per-views. And Punk probably is going to take that over as the wrong way, but he got to get the point over all of this. At least he's going to be part of the show. I don't ever think I will ever, even in universe mode, use the Jurassic Express on a freaking C-list pay-per-view. So that's practically my complaint over with Jurassic Express. You guys think differently. Love to hear your opinion over in the comment section. Hope you guys have a wonderful night. And hopefully this isn't going to be my last video until the year ends. So, yeah, that's it coming for me. Hopefully you guys are ready for Raw. Hopefully. And Mr. Anderson still retains his championship to start off the year.